Thanks, Jeff. And thousands of additional doses of the vaccine will soon be in Hillsborough County. After a chaotic rollout this week, as we've all experienced here, many are wondering if the county is ready for round two. Eight on your side, investigator Masa Saidi is looking into that. Keith, for two days in a row, Florida has reported nearly 20,000 new coronavirus cases. These are the highest numbers that we have ever seen. Many seniors are scared and they want protection now. The connection with the great grandchild. It's a bond unlike any other, and the reason Charles Sutnick wants the coronavirus vaccine. He was born. A relative said to me, that's the the cherry on top of the icing on the cake. And it is. And I haven't been able to hold him. So I'm wearing double masks and I'm uh, afraid to go anywhere, really. But like thousands of other seniors this week, Charles couldn't register for the shot. Hillsborough systems failed. With 9,000 more doses coming, Charles wants to know the county's plan for round two. I don't have any confidence that it's going to be any better. All week, we've been working to get you answers. The county said they fired on site safe, the vendor in charge of registrations. But we discovered they were also running all of the county's vaccination sites, eventually, the test sites, too. According to county documents in the deal, OnSite would get more than $13 million over a six-month period. New tonight, the county says for now, they're not working with OnSite in any way. It's unclear how much Hillsborough owes this vendor, but Hillsborough Commissioner Stacy White wants to keep all of that taxpayer cash. You would like a refund, at least in part, from this company? Absolutely. I'd be shocked if we don't have the proper provisions in that contract uh, to to seek you know a refund essentially. Meantime, on Monday, Charles will be on the hunt for the potentially life-saving shot again. So it's sad. It's sad. I'm 76. I I've lost almost a year now of being with family. It's almost a year. And people just want their life back. So it's unclear if seniors will make appointments online or on the phone next week. Also, we don't know who is going to be running these sites now that that company is fired. Hillsborough County says they are still trying to figure all of this out. I can promise you we're going to be closely monitoring all of this on Monday. Keith. All right. Thank you, Masa. Ados on your side, keeping you informed about this vaccine rollout. We have a county by county breakdown on our WFLA app.